Hey guys, it's Daniel. The following is a clip from my interview with Gorillaz and Muse touring bassist Morgan Nichols. If you want to see the full interview, the link is available below. I was going to ask you, you know, I mean, obviously one of the things that's very unique about that band is the fact that they have these characters, right? The only yeah. other band I could really think of that does something similar would be Kiss, perhaps, but it's not even made up characters. Yeah. It's the band members, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, so, I mean, do you, know, do you know what the rationale has been behind having these characters as opposed to just having like a regular band? Like what was the thought process there? Would you know? What was your reaction to that? What did you think of that concept? Well, I just thought it was quite cool, and because um, they were sort of mates and everything. I was surprised, actually, that no one had done it before, I suppose, really. And it seemed like an obvious thing to do. Because I think we're getting, um, at that point, um, you know, obviously Damon would have done Blur for quite a while, and um, it was probably a bit sick of, like, doing the interviews, and they just wanted to see the music. And I'm sure that's that's a massive part of it. In fact, I'm almost definitely, you know, that that's what, that's a big, that was the attraction for him. And um, and it would be for and I'd be, I'd be very much the same. I think um, I think after you've done a certain amount of touring and doing and done a lot of promo over the years, uh, that side of um, touring becomes incredibly boring. Has to be mm. said. I mean, uh, um, I was never a big fan of it, and I know that most bands that I've ever played with and uh, been part of, um, I've always really hated that, that aspect. But I think once you get past your first sort of couple of years and you've got, an al got maybe an album or two, you know, behind you, then it's like, well, actually, I just want to do the fun stuff. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to do, I don't want to talk about it anymore. And so, so Dame, so by doing so, uh, with the, getting the characters and cast to do the storyboarding, the interviews and do all the, you know, radio stuff ahead of the launches meant that he was free just to get on with other stuff and not get, you know, not worry about it. And um and um, with Jamie doing the artwork and the animated stuff for the video, so it meant he didn't have to be in any videos, and you know, so um, it's, you know, like, and that's basically it. I think that's uh, uh, and it worked quite well. And it, and yeah. Jamie's stuff, the characters um, are great and um, very funny, and uh, and yeah, and Jamie's artwork just lend, lends itself to the whole thing. You know, at the time, probably Damon and Jamie. Um, you know, but being that it wasn't really a band as such, it's mainly Damon just doing his thing and getting people in to guest it. So, so without having a band and not wanting to front anything himself, having just done on the back of doing Blur and being the spokesman for that, I'm I, I'm sure that that was a big part of it. I mean, um, obviously that's something that he'd, I mean, he'd be better placed to sort of uh, talk about. But I think that was probably the understanding of it, and and that, and also that which tied in with the whole having. The um the cartoons you know Jamie's stuff animated and and having a backdrop live and not and then in, in not be really being a band as such just a whoever whoever could do it at the time was <laughs> probably and it meant that I think it also meant that they could have a lot more fun and freedom touring as well without the pressure of of having to worry too much about the you know presenting themselves in any shape or form <laughs> you know like um yeah hiding behind the screen is always going to be uh you know um fun to a point you know you don't have to wor worry about what suits to wear put it that way <laughs> yeah that's true that is true you know in you know, terms there's of all sorts of pros and cons I, I can only i'm just scratching the surface but i'm sure fill in blanks you know but yeah yeah no for sure so you know i mean in terms of um like you said hiding behind a screen so to speak several of the mm. gorillas concerts uh they're behind like instead of being um, forward, you know, Damon is actually behind a screen. I think that the same thing was the case with with uh, your performances with him. Yeah, actually, I think we were no, we were um, we weren't behind the screen on the Demon days. I think it was it was actually quite too complicated to do it like that. And um, what we did was that we just had we were just silhouetted um, against a very bright backdrop. Um, so it was good, which was good because I, I I thought I kind of didn't like the idea of being behind the screen. I've kind of liked to see the, the audience a little bit. You feel a bit more involved, and and actually it's quite nice because it was kind of a good mixture of of the uh, two. And and I guess we must have had a video screen behind us, hmm. but we were backdropped onto that. 